Hey guys, welcome back to another video, Shaman J. So, uh, this was my daily driver for the last uh, three or four days. Basically over the weekend, I decided to pull it out the box and uh, fire it up and use it because I updated it to Oreo a while back and I did a video on that. A lot of you guys wanted a follow-up video and I posted a couple of videos, but I wanted to give you an official run-through here again. So, um, man, this it's, it's is kind of, this was released in June of 2016. Uh, and we're in March of 2019, and I've had this same device uh, since launch, uh, and it's just been a, a fantastic ride. It's unfortunate that ZTE has never really bounced back from this device, in my opinion. Uh, they brought out some crazy devices, uh, nice devices too, especially pocket-friendly devices, but as far as their flagship devices, I don't think they've ever bounced back in the U.S. at all, and I don't know that they ever made an effort to do so. Um, they kind of focused on the budget range or, you know, pocket friendly and offered a lot. And those devices killed it. You know, the, the Blade Z Max uh, is one of the best that ever did it. Uh, and I still have one. Uh, but, you know, this flagship era, you know, of phones today, um, they're still missing things that this phone has. And this phone is from three years ago. Uh, and that's unfortunate. Uh, this phone has a quad HD display, a 20 megapixel camera, 4 gigs of RAM. You know, it's got a Snapdragon 820 inside also, which isn't a slouch. You know, I just happen to be running, um, I like this uh, launcher that I have, so I decided to change the icon. You know, you got to keep yourself entertained with phones. Uh, but, you know, it has an AMOLED display. There's a lot to like about this phone. 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs onboard storage. So when you start to compare what's going on with today's market, this phone still has it. This phone is one of those phones that's ahead of its time. You've got real stereo speakers on the front with Dolby Atmos, and they are absolutely ridiculous. You've got um, Type C, you know, 3.0 USB. You know, so it, it, there's things on here. Oh, and let's not forget the DAC because it has a headphone jack, 32 bit audio. There's things on here uh, that phones today still don't have, uh, and they're considering to be, you know, they're considered to be flagships, which is fine. Uh, but the stereo sound from this thing is probably one of the best features of this phone to date, man. Uh, the hardware, I could definitely, if ZTE were to bring another phone out like this, with this design, with this metal back and everything, I think it would sell like hotcakes. You know, this price, this phone was priced at four, 500 bucks originally when it came out, I believe. And this was my phone for vlogs um, and some YouTube videos, predominantly for vlogs though, because that eight megapixel camera on the front did very well. And, you know, I, I, I'm surprised that, uh, you know, they had all the issues that they had. That's neither, that's neither here nor there. Regardless of if they had issues on, on, with their company, they still never, that has nothing to do with them releasing a flagship device, in my opinion. If they were gonna release one for the US, they would have done it. And I guess they just opted Forget, forget about the U.S. market with flagship devices, and that's that. So that is why this this unibody design right here, um, aluminum body design, and it looks like a unibody design. Um, it's just a it's a killer phone, man. I mean, I don't understand how they could have let this go. The Axon Nine, the Axon Ten, all these all these Axons that came out didn't hit the U.S and we just got left off. But I still rock with this phone and I actually use it. I just charged it from to 100 because it died, so I um, charged it to 100. Now, let's talk about battery. My battery actually is still holding up great. And again, I just took my SIM card out and put it in my iPhone and charged this phone because I don't like to use phones while they're charging. And, uh, and I'll probably be putting my SIM card back into this phone because it's very nice, man. I even have the OEM ZTE case that came out back then pristine condition. So the reason mine probably looks like it's brand new still is because obviously I don't use this every day and you guys know how I am about my phones. I try to box them up if I can or keep them on my drawer of phones neatly set up, set aside. Uh, and mine isn't having any battery issues. This phone lasted for about a day and a half on a charge. And I think I grabbed about five and a half or six hours of screen on time. Uh, when I said that, it lasted uh, about 20 plus, 20, over 24 hours on a single charge, I'll say. Uh, and then I did get about six hours of screen on time. It didn't die early. I did a lot of photos and filming and stuff. Um, and I, I took some, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and post those photos up because the camera is what I was going to say. It's still fantastic. I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. Every phone can have that bang em up killer quality in the right setting. 
uh, you know, in the right lighting. All these things play a part uh, when you're thinking about taking photos. And you know, that's something that you need to consider. Uh, but the phone itself, man, it's just, it's still phenomenal, man. When you consider uh, looking at the front of this, watching videos, I was out in a, in a, uh, at a lake and it was very loud out there. And I turned on the phone and the stereo speakers just pumped through all the noise. And, and the person I was with was like, man, that, that thing is still killing it. And it's just a phone to me that was way ahead of its time. And, you know, also HTC, their boom sound setup too was a fantastic setup that they've moved away from. Um, and this phone right here can still have a bigger display, you know. Obviously, I have a model with on-screen displays. You guys always ask this, and I've said it in nearly every time I post this. This is a developer edition of this phone. You can't get it with on-screen buttons in the U.S. Your buttons are going to be capacitive. So, yeah. So, if, if they were to sh just stretch out this same area here, you could have a much bigger display, at least 5.8 or 5.9 in this same body, and keep the stereo speakers and just have the on-screen buttons. Uh, you know that that's something that I just don't understand why they won't do that. They can, they can release these devices, uh, and but they've just. I mean, I don't blame them for not wanting to be in the U.S. after what, you know what happened or whatever. But um, still, if they could just release it and then we we can get it on our own, I'll be happy to import it. Uh, but you know, the the screen on here where you consider this 5.5 inch quad HD display, uh, that's 1440 by 2560 and a 16 by 9 ratio, which is something that I love. There's 538 pixels for the Pixel Squad. If you're into counting pixels, there's 538 of them right here. And that is a, a, a very nice uh, number for this screen with the stereo speakers. It's, it's just a good all around killer phone, man. So I don't know too many people that have one of these where they're not having any issues like me. And you know, I use this, the most I've used this since, like at the beginning, I used it every day. And it was like my daily driver for at least, I don't know, the first year, I don't know, seven, six months, I don't know. It was a, a long straight through where I continuously had the same SIM card in there, you know, and, and was using it. However, now I'll use it at the most maybe three weeks straight. Uh, and, um, I've been using this since last Friday, I think it was, uh, and you know it's 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 great, man. I mean, if you can, if you have multiple phones, then it'll be easier on you, on you and your phone won't die out as quick, probably. Um, but you know, some of you guys don't have ten phones laying around or fifty phones. You don't have that, so you don't have the option to switch about. And you are going to get yours banged up. You are going to get more scratches and nicks, and the battery is going to die down sooner. But overall, man, I think this phone right here is a phone that I truly enjoyed so much and I still do enjoy it all these years later and if if it were up to me man if I could sit on that board with ZTE man I would tell them take this same body just take the same body stretch the screen out add a 845 or 835 to save some cash go 855 you know uh, you can leave it at, put it four to six gigs of RAM in there and it's just release it the same man you will have so many sales People will go crazy over it. Android 9, got to get rid of the Mi Favor UI, period, because this one still has the Mi Favor in the background. It's a stock Android, but it's kind of like buried in there. Uh, but at the same time, just run with stock Android, man. This is an easy one. Sell it for $4.99. You will you'll blow the socks off of people, and you'll be the comeback kid, CTE. I just can't believe that the, no one on that board has decided to do that yet. But, hey, who am I? I'm just a guy who likes phones. It's your man Jay. Hope you enjoyed. I'm going to put my SIM card back in here because these speakers are just totally awesome. It's your man Jay. Leave a comment down below if you're still using the Axon 7. If you still have that urge to see something new from ZTE and a flagship line, I would love to hear from you in the comments. It's your man Jay. I'm out. I said that like three times then. I said I'm out like three times and I'm still not out yet. Anyway, let's hit it.